Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Azure Automation Channel. Today in this session, I'm going to demonstrate a tool which is helpful and handy for the manual testers and the business users testers who wanted to uh, automate their manual test cases. So automation in the sense, not we write any code or uh, any language. So here we simply uh, turn on this uh, button as a record and then we record all the scripts or we can say all the test steps that we perform on manually on the application and it will record all the options and it will provide uh, screenshots as well. So the tool that we are discussing today is a test studio, test case studio from Selectors Hub. So let me open any browser and type for test case studio. And this is offered from Selectors Hub. So this is the website. So go to this website. I will share the website link in the description. You can find from there. And it is offered for different browsers here. And you can take a uh, trial version and you can go for the pro version. And there is some tutorials also for this to know uh, in date, uh, in detailed. So I'm on Chrome browser. So I'm clicking on Chrome. So as this is an extension, I need to click on add to Chrome so that it will add the extension to my Chrome browser. Right, it is added to my Chrome browser. Now I need to start this test case studio. I can go to this extensions. You can see on the right top section, you will see the extensions and then you can see the test case studio and you can make them as pin so that you can see in the uh, toolbar and you can click on the test case studio it will open this interface and this interface contain in the first and foremost button you can see here uh, record and stop so now it is recording mode you can stop and uh, start recording and then you will see the categories so if you click on that you will see set attributes for xpath and css so text id class name and uh, placeholders so if you wanted to get only uh, type of uh, IDs and uh, text then you can check only these two buttons and remaining are unchecked and you can delete whatever recordings which are done so far and you can see here click add and remove columns then you can click on this button and you can see customize columns so these are all things we can uh, uh, do some customization and then you will see the table here table with the steps data expected results xpath say the selector so if you remove this to xpath and say as a selector and remaining things are the same thing that we perform uh, in our test case writing right and then additional one is a screenshots here so by default it is selected you can uncheck this one as well and here is a white space as we did not record anything so it is showing as white space and then you have a download test cases and then execute this test case in test treasure and here in the top section you can uh, name this as test demo so in my case i given test demo in your uh, actual test cases you can provide a feature name or a page name now it is in recording mode so i wanted to perform some action i will go back to the browser and open a new tab and now i will search for google and i will open this google page and in the google page i will search for uh, my channel so this is DTV automation now you will see the first link which is uh, so this is DTV automation YouTube channel so I will open this channel link this will take me to YouTube hello everyone and, and here I will perform some actions here I will go to videos and I will go to playlist and I will go to community page and I will do some scroll actions here scroll down and scroll up now i will go to channels and i will go to about section and i will do scroll down and scroll up now i will go back to the test case studio so i have did my all manual test cases to verify pages getting loaded or not so i will go to this test case studio and i will start recording this and now you will see whatever we perform we have open website and then we search for google and then it waited for some time and then we entered our uh, channel name so this is DT automation and then we searched and then after we did some actions 
so we did scroll up and scroll up uh, and then we went to community page so during this entire process uh, we have recorded screenshots also you can see on the screenshots top you will see title as what we perform and we have a carousel here so left and right so you can go uh, and perform all these steps right so this is how it records and uh, capture all the results and now i wanted to extract this entire test steps so that i can provide this to a developer so just i will go to download test case i will click on this and now it will download two uh, things here one is exe file and uh, i mean zip file which contains all the screenshots and a csv file which is containing the uh, description of whatever we uh, capture in this tool uh, like a test cases so i will open this csv file so in the csv file you can see all results which it has performed so it has captured in all the uh, in the english format and you can see the data and the expected results and the xpath and css selections and the selectors and then you also have so you can see it has also downloaded test demo screenshots so in this you will find all the screenshots with the names on the uh, whatever steps that we performed right so that names are on the screenshots so that we can easily identify which screenshot and with respect to which step uh, so here i will say uh, click on community so if i open this community then it will open uh, a community page i think i am in the zip file so i did need did not extract it so let me try on other thing yeah so this is uh, simply a uh, easy way to record a manual test steps and uh, an extract and provide to the developers and where business users also can perform this and they can extract and provide to the developers so i hope this session is helpful for you and this test case studio is very handy and helpful uh, do give a try and if you have any questions queries do post comment and uh, i hope this session is helpful for you Thank you for watching.